Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Ship Graveyard Simulator. So if you've ever wondered what happens to a ship at the end of its life, it ends up at places like this, which is kind of sad really. Um, but people, they make a living from taking these ships and turning them apart. Look, they live in like the shanty towns next to it. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to see what it's like to have a giant ship and turn it into our livelihood. So here we are. We are on the beach. Oh god, I think this is our house. Is this our house? Yes, this is our bed. We've got a workbench, a locker, a very modern computer with no wires. It, how is that plugged? Do we have power out here? Oh, there is a street lamp to be fair. Maybe it's all underground. Maybe it's all underground and wireless power. Uh, but anyway, look at the ships in the distance. All right, this is the marketplace. So you can see these are all the things we sort of want to collect. And they're, they're sort of split up by rarity. So we've got steel, copper, cast iron. But then I think the better quality it is, the higher the price. So you can see the steel here is rusted steel. If we can get normal steel, it's worth like triple. If we can get stainless steel, even better. And if we can get hardened steel or even acid resistant steel. <laughs> we've got all the steel. And uh, we can make some dosh. Anyway, what does this bloke do? All right, so we can buy different tools from this guy. We currently have no money, though. So that's not too much use. We've also got a car over here. Uh, this is a pretty detailed dashboard. Look at this. So we're going to head, I guess, along here. There's not really any roads. Oh, I'll tell you what. We're going to go over there where this symbol is. I don't really think I had to drive then, but we did. Right, so we have found a rusted pole. If we talk with this guy, uh, we can actually hire him to do work for us. Unfortunately, we've got no money, so I don't know if hiring is going to work. We're going to have to do it ourselves. So if we come to here and select our hammer... <laughs> This is going to take a while. But yeah, apparently you just hammer a column like this. And it shatters like that. And then these are our resources. We can pick up some steel, some copper. Sell them to this bloke. Get 32 quid in return. Print some repeat a few times. Oh god, the top came off. I quite like, can you see like on this, we got some like glowy bits. So if we hit those, they're like critical parts. So boosh, knock that end off. Ready? Boosh. Oh, that didn't do anything. Boosh. You get like critical hits and it does way more damage. And uh, knocks bits off, which is pretty cool. But after a fair bit of that, you can see it's 3 p.m. now. Uh, we've got nearly a full inventory to sell. If we sell everything, we get 473 quid. Not bad for a day's work. All right, which means we can buy some new tools. So let's buy a hacksaw and a lockpick, because you never know when it's going to come in handy. All right, so next we also have skill points. So we can come into here and we can improve our hammering. So we can do more hammer damage. We can hit faster and get additional slots more damage. Cool. Right, next, if we go onto our computer, we can order a ship to come in. So we're on ShipTube, the greatest shipping website there is. And yeah, we've got an available ship here. So it's a small ship from the UK, the Atropos. You see, it's four years older than I am, and it's already in the graveyard. That's kind of scary. And you can see all the different materials they think are going to be on there. So let's book that. It will be delivered tomorrow at 8am. You will find it on the beach. So cool, let's get off the computer then. And uh, we can either make some more money, but I think I think it's like, it's 4pm. I I feel it's time for a little little bit of a snooze. I might have a little wander. Go, oh, look, there's a dog. Hello, mate. What do you mean you watch Paddy on YouTube? Oh, <laughs> we've got a fan, everyone. we got a fan of Paddy. Good boy. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's all sorts of people you can hire around the town. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a hard hat. $32 a day. I'm going to hire you. I reckon. Oh, we've got to build a barrack for... Build a barrack? Interesting. Anyway, that, that was a tough date. We're going to we're going to bed quite early. We're going to have a snooze and we'll see where we are in the morning. So there's our ship coming in just being completely crashed into the beach. Imagine if that was your job. Just crashing ships onto the beach. All right. So our ship's over there. I just want to have a look. So this is our workshop that we have to build. So we need 400 quid, 10 rusted steel and six copper. So we've got to make sure we don't trade those in in order for us to build that. Okay. So let's get in our truck. Oh God. I sort of mullered the suspension then. All right. So let's head to our new boat and see what we've got to destroy. So there she is. Holy crap, that's a lot of boat for one dollar a day. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So let's get on board and see what we can destroy. I guess we'll start with all these like dodgy bits first. Oh, I love... Oh, <laughs> that was a bristle barrel. I love that I'm just going to town with a hammer. Yeah, I'm not actually getting anything for these. I'm just making room, I think. Oh, I'm leveling up though. Leveling up is important. All right, so let's hit this barrel. Oh, what the hell? It's like solid inside. So there's another shiny bit. Boosh. Yeah, that's that's pretty weird. I'm not sure that's how barrels work. All right, so we've got this steel post. It's got two shiny bits. So we'll smack those. That just took off a load of damage. And then it's just brittle. Nice. So this has a load of weak points. There's one over here and one there. 
Boot. Oh, God, that shattered into loads of pieces. A right, couple more bits. There we go. That should explode when I hit that shiny bit. Lovely. Oh, a rope holder. That looks kind of cool. Oh, it's so brittle. <laughs> it's so brittle. All right, if we switch to our hacksaw, I think these are bars that we can saw. Yeah, look. So we cut down there. What if we cut this end? Nice. And then we got one copper out of that. That didn't seem worth it. What if we go right to the end of it? Mind your fingers on that wall, mate. All right, that's literally as close to the edge as I could get. Ready, this side. We're through the wall. That's how close we are. Oh, and we did actually get two copper for that. So maybe it's worth trying to be efficient in these. And fair play, this must be a pretty sharp saw. Or just some very soft metal. But we're getting through that like anything. Oh, that one got three. Holy crap, that one got four. Nice. All right, so let's head up here. Is there any good stuff? Is that something I can... No. Oh, we got a small box that we can unlock. So let's have a go at this. So I think it's classic Fallout style. Yeah. Oh, we've got some petroleum. So hopefully that's worth something. I destroyed a stool just because I could. <laughs> ah, some oil in the box. There's a wooden box that we can open. Oh, I've got some aluminium. No space in inventory. Bollocks. All right, there we go. We can pick that up now. Surely aluminium is going to be worth a fair bit. Oh, look in here. So there's an electric box, which sort of looks like it's stuck to the wall. So if we go to our hacksaw... No, we can't hack that off. So that's probably a different tool we need to get that off the wall. Interesting. All right, anyway, let's head back and see how much money we made from that. So I think we want to sell some stuff like the oil, some copper, the petroleum, that aluminium, definitely. Yeah, so if we sell that, how much money do we have? We got 400, sweet. So I think we can build the workshop now. Yes, yeah, so everything's green. Green is good. So let's buy a workshop. And ready, a new day is passing and it's been built. Oh, holy crap. That's a lot of building and equipment. So this is a furnace. Oh, so this is how we get the like rarer materials. If we want unalloyed steel, we can put in rusted steel and copper, melt it at a thousand degrees. We're doing that. So what do we want? Rusted steel, copper. So four of those each. That will get us the unalloyed steel. Okay. And then we just turn it on. We don't need fuel. Oh yeah, they just dropped out on the left. So look, we got all this purple stuff now. Unalloyed steel. Ooh, let's pick those up. And what are they worth to you, Mr. Man? Unalloyed steel is 30 quid a bar. So rusted steel was 10 quid. Copper was 11. So yeah, nice little profit there. So we may as well sell everything we got. Oh, and we got a new order. So let's head into the town. So over here, what does this man have to say to us? So we can give him cast iron or copper and he'll give us a load of money. Well, I know there's loads of copper on that boat. So let's accept that. Nice. Let's go get this guy's copper and make some cash. All right, there's two copper in this. So give it a whack. There's a shiny bit there. Nice. Where's that copper? There it is. Oh, there's two copper still in there. So can we just cut the end off? Yeah, there we go. Oh, so it does disappear completely. I just didn't cut enough of it before. Okay, gotcha. Oh, there's a ladder here. Let's go on to the roof. So there's another box somewhere about there. There we go. Unlocked. What have we... Oh, silver. Silver. Yeah, these rusted poles have copper in. So let's get the shiny bits. Nice. Copper. We'll take the steel anyway, because why wouldn't you? Smash that bit. Oh, I love how the things break. It's really, it's really, really satisfying. All right, this has got some copper in. The one shiny bit, two shiny bit, three shiny bit, and the last one. Boosh. Oh, it didn't break. Now it did. All right, any more copper about? The sun is going down, so I don't want to spend too much longer on here. All right, so we've got 10 out of 10 copper, as you can see there. So we're going to head back to the man and claim our reward. And then it's probably bedtime. It's uh, very late for us. Oh, there is a torch, though, I think. So what was it? One of these buttons. There you go. We got a torch. So you can see where we go. <laughs> Chicken's about. All right, I'm going to shine this torch in your face and you give me money. I'll give you copper. Deliver order. Nice. And over here, there's another person with an order, apparently. And I'm guessing that's probably how we make our money rather than just selling scrap. So, yep, here's another manager. Oh, they want unalloyed steel. Now, the other one is also cast iron. Nine. Do we have that on us already? Oh, we've only got five. We've only got five. Well, we'll accept that one because I know that will be a lot easier. And uh, let's have a snooze and we'll wake up in the morning. So we're back on our ship. We're after cast iron today. So we should get that done in no time, really. All right, so we just need one more cast iron. I'm pretty sure this is going to have some in. So if we can get those shiny bits, we'll be laughing. There we go. All right, so let's go pay off our order, deliver, sorted. And then we just rinse and repeat for a bit. But if we head back over here... Oh, just notice we're not wearing our seatbelt. That's not very safe. Can we build our barrack? So for the barrack, we need 800 quid, 8 copper, 
eight cast iron and four kerosene. So let's see what we need for kerosene. So we need oil and oil. Oh, okay, just double oil. So we can make two of that as long as we put it to 500. There you go, there's those two. So we just need to collect some more oil. Copper, cast iron. Okay, so I can sell everything else. And sell my silver scrap as well. So that's nearly 400 quid. Uh, anything worth buying today? No, I think we got everything. So let's just try and find some more oil then. Can I order another boat? Is that a thing? Yeah, so we're done with that ship. Useless. Am I sure? You bet I'm sure. Oh, look at this. So we've got two little ones, but we've also got a big boy for 400 quid a day. Let's check the details. Oh, I am tempted. I am tempted. But this one dollar day one has large amount of oil on board. So I think I'm going to do that first because then I can get some people working for me, which will save a lot of time. Now, I'm just going to fast forward to the next day. Sod it. Yeah, it's 9 a.m., but I'm going to bed. <laughs> All right, another ship is coming flying in. Love it. All right, here we go. It looks very similar to the last ship, but uh, we know what we're after this time. We're after oil. There's some oil. There's oil in these barrels. Oh, there's some oil. Oh, we've got some alcohols in there. We'll take that. That was worth unlocking. There's a long box. Did I miss these last time? Oh, look at this. We've got alcohols, aluminium, steel, all sorts. Banging. All right, loads of barrels. Loads of brittle barrels. <laughs> Oh, that one was actually hollow, but look at all that oil. That is what we're after. And anything good up here? There was a lockbox last time. Yep, there's still one here. So roughly over that side. What have we got? Oh, titanium. Titanium. All right, so we should have enough oil to make the kerosene. It's just whether we have enough of the other stuff. I probably should have looked what we needed. Oh, no. No. <laughs> so because I didn't pick it up, it does actually give you a warning when you sleep. Look. If you go to sleep, all items left on the ground will disappear. I stupidly didn't pick up the kerosene, so we lost what we made yesterday. Well, that was really stupid. All right, so we can make four of it. I'll make sure I pick it up this time, but I think we needed more than that. How much did we need? Oh, we only needed four. Okay, so we just need copper and cast iron. So if I sell my steel while I'm here... Oh, it's blue steel as well. Sell my titanium, rusted steel. I don't think we need any of that. So sell all that, 400 quid. And then back to the ship. And yeah, let's just check exactly how much I need because I don't want to mess this up. Eight copper, six cast iron. So just three of each. So these have copper and cast iron in. So we'll whack the hell out of these. Copper, cast iron, copper, cast iron. We know these have copper in. So let's chop these off. Oh yes, look at all that copper. All right, so now we can unlock the barrack, which means we can hire some people. Okay, there is our lovely barrack. So let's go hire. This guy's got a helmet on. So he's going to get us oil and rusted steel for 42 quid a day yeah that sounds like a good deal what about this guy oh he gets some good stuff but we need workers tier two in order to hire oh so if we go to our skill tree yeah so we just spend skill points on our workers and then we can get skilled workers two okay so we'll spend all of our points getting up to there and then skilled workers two and we got five points left should we just go straight to skilled workers three there you go. So we'll hire you 60 a day and we'll try and work out if there's any top tier workers about. What about you? No. It's so cool like just seeing the boats lying there. Like look at that propeller. It's huge. All right. What about this guy? Oh, he's a tier three. He'll get us some stainless steel. 84 quid a day. You are hired, mate. All right. So now we've got that going for us. Let's go into the ships. We'll dismiss that one and we're going to hire the big boy. 400 quid a day. Book done. I'm like a kid at Christmas. Let's just get straight to bed and wake up the next morning. All right, here it comes. Oh, crap, it's huge. It's going so quick. <laughs> look how quick it was going. All right, so it's the morning. I wonder if our workers... Yes, look, because it's a new morning, we've got all that stuff. So we can grab all that and we can see what was that worth if we sold all of that. 700 quid. So it's definitely worth hiring people. Now, before I do that, though, I want to see if there's anything to do with the normal steel and the stainless steel. Maybe in the furnace? No, it doesn't look like it. What about upgrading? So if we want to upgrade, we need kerosene, cast oil, cast steel, <laughs> cast steel and brass. Okay, so maybe we can do that. What about to upgrade this thing? So hardened steel, lead, cast iron. Okay, we can't even make most of that stuff. So I'm just going to sell everything I've got. And we're going to head to our new ship. Oh man, it's so big. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> All right, this is going to be fun. So I assume we climb up the ladder to get on board. It's a proper rope ladder as well. All right, what do we have? Oh my God, there's so much stuff. Look, there's like yellow poles. Oh, does this mean 
get a higher tier tool. No. Okay, so we need we need to upgrade our tools. How the hell do we do that? Does doing that count? The super hit? We don't have any skill points anyway. Oh, I can't actually break anything. Can I break these? Oh, at least I can break these. <laughs> if we just break a few of these, I think we're about to be level 10. There we go. So we got a skill point now. So we head to skills. Is that level 2 hammer? Please be a level 2 hammer. So can we hit these now? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Get a higher tier tool. I think we need to upgrade the shop. Oh, well, I just splurged 400 quid a date. At least there's some things to unlock. Maybe they'll pay off alcohols and cast iron. Great. Oh, there's so much good stuff, but I can't get to it. All right, we'll go just have a wonder for now then. At least we can destroy cardboard. All right, this ship has an inside though. That's insane. Let's can knock this wall down. Ready? Boosh, and now we're in a hidden room. Ooh, it's got some oil, some rusted steel. Ooh, a lockbox, intermediate. All right, what was in it? Stainless steel, nice. Oh man, there's a downstairs. And we've just picked this lock. Holy crap, it's the engine room. Oh, we need tier three equipment to get that, blimey. Thankfully, there's a few things stacked up that we can nick. Oh, I wish I bloody had the tools for this thing. <laughs> I'm definitely not meant to be in here yet. 400 quid a day. Thankfully, our workers do actually cover that cost. So it's not that bad. All right, what's very upstairs then? I've gone up like four stories already. Oh, a puddle. You can get a mop. You can get a mop to clear up puddles. Interesting. All right, what's through this door? Oh, look at the sea view. That is where we came from. Let's go up again. Man, this boat is huge and it's all mine. Shall we unlock this? All right, we're unlocked. Anything good in here? Oh, yes. I say yes, nothing good really. It just looks cool because it's the control room. We can like see the whole island and stuff. Man, that is a lot of ship to destroy. Now we've got some lead. There's also some petroleum. Nice. What's in this locker? Uh, some blue steel. Nice. We'll take both of those. Oh, and there's a safe master difficulty. I assume that means I've got no chance in hell. Oh, we actually need an ability to even try it. Okay, never mind. Uh, there is another door here. Does that just, I assume that just goes outside the other side, does it? Yeah, glad I didn't bother doing that. Right then, let's head back and see what we actually need. All right, can we actually just jump down it? We can. Oh, there's no full damage. Good. Good to know. But uh, let's head back, see what we gained from this, and then see what we need to actually unlock the higher tier tools. All right, so I imagine for the tool workshop, we need to upgrade the shop. So for tier one, we need unalloyed steel. So I think we can make that. So a thousand degrees, turn her on. And we got five of those. I think that's enough. Oh, now we need 10 copper. We bloody used the copper up. Damn it. All right, let's turn all the oil we've got into kerosene anyway. That's 500 degrees. All plopped out. We'll take that. All right, we'll sell all this good stuff. So 300 quid. That nearly pays for the boat. Then we just need a load of copper if we want to upgrade the shop. I reckon we can just scavenge around the beach to find that. All right, there's one, two, three, four, and five. So let's upgrade this shop. Yes, we'll buy that. And it goes from a tent. What will it change into? Ooh, that's quite a big shop. And now we can get the steel hammer and a load of other things. Blowtorch, oil mop, angle grinder. Nice. And then we can really start tearing that thing apart. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave that there for today. If you enjoyed this video, boost your like button. Let me know. If you want another episode, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, peace, love, and ship graveyards. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.